Right, welcome back to channel. Today we are going to take photos of my toys. Hulk versus Hulk Buster. Stick, stick around and we will get set up. So, you heard the man. We are going to do a fancy little photo with these two looking like they're having a battle. We're going to have the rain coming down on top of them. We're going to have some, some lightning or something like that. We're going to have a little tinker. So, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to take a few shots to ensure that I get the shot. And then look at my lads right here. Stop it. Um, and then I'm going to show you how I process the original picture. I'm not going to show you exactly how I've done it, but you will see the setup because I've had enough of pouring water over stuff, quite frankly. My garage is soaked. So you will get the gist of it. Zach, please. What? Move you away. Get me Just, in. No, you're not in because it's pointing at me and you're behind it, you plonk. Come around here and you'll be in it. All right? You've had your intro. What more do you want? Jesus. Superstardom? Is that what you want? Superstardom? <laughs> so um, anyway, yeah, we'll get set up. I'll show you the setup. I'll talk about what we're going to do and how we're going to go through it. And then I'll put some settings on, on how we achieved it. Um, and I'll try and make it as informative and as fun as possible. And, and that's it, really. So let's get set up, shall we? Let's go! So, this is the setup we are going for. Now, I've took a few test shots, hence it's wet, so you're going to have to bear with me on that one. Because um, I wanted to get the test shots to make sure it works, because I tried this the other day and it took a lot of shots <laughs> to get the water right. But the setup is. Are you ready for this? Look at this incredible setup. Okay, so we've got the nice big fancy light, which used to have a cover on, but I broke it. Um, we've got the two figures. The tripod will be set down here and we're going to be zoomed right in but on the 50mm. So Hulk's going to be nicely out of focus. Hulk Buster's going to be there ready to smash him up. Then we've got a watering can. We've got a lad fiddling with my stuff. <laughs> and let's flip back round. And yes, that is what the plan is. So, like I say, I fired a few shots. So I'm going to show you what the original shot looks like. Then I'm going to do a quick edit on it. And then I'm going to merge and have a bit of fun with, not Photoshop, because I don't actually have Photoshop. I've got the free little mobile app, but you can't add stuff on that. But then I'm going to do a quick double exposure, put some lightning in, make it moody, try and make it look like they're having a, you know, about to have a punch up in the rain. That's the look we're going for. Will we achieve it? Will we achieve it? Will we get the look we're going for, Zach? Yes. Yes. Well, I'm chucking up some gang signs. So stick with me. We'll set up the studio. I'll get sat in my chair and we'll run some photos and some edits and... Uh, yeah, have a bit of fun. Let's go. So, onwards with the edit. Let me just hit the old uh, record. Start now. Three, two, one. Here we go. So, this is the picture. Now, I have tweaked a little bit already just to save some time. I've gone in and I've done some selectives. You see these little brown, uh, brown little grey dots. Those are the bits that I've just changed slightly. So basically what I've done is I've up the whites in his sort of his little plasma chest thing and in his knees and eyes. And I've just made the back of Hulk's luminous slightly more green. So I've up the uh, the lum lumity? lumity. Is that the one? Let's have a look. Let's see what it is that I actually upped. It was in colour. Um, he says it was in colour. Maybe it was just the tint. Maybe I only changed the tint on this one. So that was alright. So yeah, I just changed the tint so he was a little greener. That was all. So, yes, that is the, what we have started with so far. Um, original, look like that. That's the shot at the camera, and that's what I've done so far. Just, like I say, brightened up a few bits and pieces. So, we'll now go and do a quickish edit. I will try my hardest to just fly through it. You know what I'm like. So, I'm going to up the clarity right up. I'm going to up the texture right up so we can really get the water in the middle here. So, I'm just popping off and just getting these sort of Sharpen it all up a little bit, basically. Um, that, maybe drop the haze down a little bit. Now, not a great deal needs to be done to this. I'm getting better nowadays at getting a shot straight out of the camera. So that's a bonus. So, where are we at? That's there. Let's have a look at just lights and darks. Pull up some whites. Really bring those out. That's quite nice. Because we want to have a little bit of light on the top of Hulk. Because we are going to have... A bit of a lightning storm. Now what you could do for that as well as you could have a little bit of, uh, we're going to add some lightning in, is we could put a selective 
just a very mellow one. Just let me, uh, change the angle of that slightly. We'll just bring that across the top there and just up that a little bit just to the top of him. It's just slightly brighter across the top. Now, if you want to go in and have a bit more time, you could go in and literally do the armour across the top of his arm, literally across the top of his head, the shoulder. You could do individual bits and just really sort of just brighten those up as if, if there's lightning coming down across him, then it was just brightening those up. But I'm not going to go through and do a 25 minute, half hour edit of this picture. It's, there's not a lot of point for the finished product, totally. So, uh, so what we're going to do now is we will send that to, where should we send it? We will share that, I'll put it into Photoshop first, so bear with, because this takes a few seconds. How's lockdown? Hopefully you guys can go and uh, learn something from this and have a bit of a bit of fun playing about, basically just download some backdrops off Google and whatever, take a shot of whatever you want to do, start merging pictures, double exposure, that kind of stuff, it's, uh, it's all right. So we're just going to look through these and just see if there's a better one that just just looks better basically just makes things look how we want it to now I find in portraits sometimes gleam is quite a good one it kind of overdoes stuff but again we are looking at kind of cartoon characters here so we'll go in with gleam that's overdone it as I knew it would but then we can tone that down slightly and that looks quite cool but we'll run with that so we'll click next as like I say I don't want to make this video 25 minutes long we are now going to share this to Oh, it's not there, is it? Bear with. I've got to go. No, it's not there. Right, it's in this one. Oh, I have a child trying to get in. Or get out. I can hear him tapping on the window. <laughs> Bear with. Kids. Where were we? We'll try again. Honestly, man. Kids. Oh. Don't have them. That's all I can say. Right. Let's go. We have sent the uh, picture, as you've seen, from Lightroom into Photoshop, which is just the mobile version. And now we have sent it into Polish, which is my go-to. There are other apps available, without a doubt. So we are going to select the picture. This is the picture. We will now, where's my little pen? I want my little pen now, eh? My little stylus. We will do the double exposure. We will add in download we will add in some lightning we will go to screen at the bottom there and then that only brings up the lightning you see so what we'll do is we'll just enhance that a little bit click the rubber rub out the bits we don't want now i want it going in front of iron man but I don't want it going over hulk because it wouldn't be coming down the back of him would it let's be honest so we'll rub out that bit there how about that bit of his arm and then what we can do is we can click the tick on that and we can really go to town so that looks pretty cool just straight off I quite like that but I'm going to double exposure it again add in another one click the screen where do we want this one I'll have that one coming right down across him like so now we can, again, rub it out from Hulk. Up the intensity of that one. I probably should have upped the intensity of the other one, to be totally honest, made that 100%. But that's not bad, you get the gist. I might rub out just a bit of the stuff that's across the middle of him. Some of the smaller bits, just so we can see his eyes. Looks like sun's going down behind. Sun's in front. Something like that. Click the tick. And there we have. Save. Definitely save it. The amount of times I've gone, yeah, brilliant, Poof, shut. No, nope, it's gone. Muppet. Anyway, so I'll go into my gallery, and there are a few, once I find them, that we've had a little tinker with already. So, this is one I've done earlier. Again, slightly different colour scheme. Very similar style. Uh, you can also put on any other backdrop you like. Now, obviously, I use the rain in the shop with the watering can and stuff like that. So I'm limited to backgrounds because I've got to kind of fit in with, with the rain um, and kind of a dark kind of scene. But equally, you could prepare your shop originally completely different 
make it look daylight bright put a certain light in as if you were going to use a sun stuff like that so we've got this one i put in a little sort of japanese neon street behind again pretty cool change the colors of the backs of hulk just slightly just so it was a bit more kind of fitting with the fact that the reflections would be neon and not um lightning you know what i mean so again we toned down on the uh, on the hulk buster there and then the one we just done which is a slightly more sort of exaggerated one with the green hulk looking angry but a sort of green glow around him and that is let's stop the recording there that is how simple it is the hardest bit was getting the water on the shot now the settings for that picture let me see if i have them bear with a second because i have actually deleted the original shot i think whichever one's going to go oh, why did you do that well the thing is because i do it all on the phone and everything's backed up into google and whatever it's backed up in google hold tight hold tight hold tight it's backed up in google let's have a look oh, i might not be backed up in google <laughs> i'll switch my backup off because there was about a thousand shots so oh, there's kids mucking about doing what they do have we got the original shot by the looks of it no because there are hundreds of shots but i believe and i'm going to go with this that it was one thirtieth of a second i'm pretty positive that that's what we got the shot on in the end i don't think the settings are going to be under here no they're not are they going to be in my canon no are they going to be in photoshop possibly no no it's got the size and all that information but it hasn't got the actual original picture so yeah i can't can't tell you that one but i'm pretty sure i was at f 2.5 Four, I think it was. Um, I will go back and I will find it and I will put it across the bottom what the settings were to make your lives easier if you want to do the whole watering can business to get it looking like rain because it's hard. You do it too fast, you get quite nice. Um, quite nice. No, if you do it too slow, you get quite nice streaks, which looks pretty cool. I have got another little Kylo Ren one actually. I'll, I'll pop that on that I've done. I have put that one on Instagram, so you may have seen it already. But I'll pop the Kylo Ren one on. Again, that took about 400 shots to get right, and it was just pure experiment. Because with every, if you light it from the top, you get the sort of the rain coming in lit up better. But then it's kind of too light at the top, and then to try and get the bottom lit and the figures where you want them and to have the right F number to, to light the studio right with what I've got it was really hard. It was trial and error, and it kept me busy for a good hour, um, just trying to get this just burst shooting. I'm there with a torch in my mouth, trying to light up the figures. I've got a torch up here, I'm on burst mode here, trying to blimmin' spray water at it. It was a nightmare. So today's one, we used a watering can, and I'll be honest, it was a lot quicker. Uh, it soaked the place, <laughs> so next time I might do it outside. Um, but it was a lot, lot quicker. So you've seen the setup, you've seen the very simple edits. Now go and get yourself a watering can, soak your garage or your rooms or do it outside like i just said and go and have some fun because we're all stuck indoors and that is how it is so yeah go and practice use different whatever you want you can do this with products you can do anything you like obviously i've used little toys that probably now don't work on disney infinity because i've just absolutely soaked them so we'll see uh, these will be for sale soon fully working um yeah till the next video peace out